This is your CBS News Baltimore Evening Update for Friday, November the 3rd. I'm Vic Carter. A somber day in Baltimore as a second firefighter killed in a Northwest Baltimore row house fire is laid to rest. Firefighters from across the nation attended today's service along with family, friends, and other dignitaries. Captain Dylan Ronaldo's fiance remembered him as a hero and how he would want to be remembered. When I think of him now, the memories that flood me are those of him smiling and laughing. What a blessing. What a blessing to have spent time in life with someone who loved life so much. Dylan taught me about joy and optimism. To all here and afar mourning his loss, God is at such a loss. He would tell us to be okay. He would tell us to be happy, to remember, and to carry him forward. After the service at Cathedral of Mary Our Queen, a procession took his body for burial at Delaney Valley Memorial Gardens, where he is buried with honors. Captain Ronaldo suffered fatal injuries battling a fire in northwest Baltimore late last month. Another firefighter, Rodney W. Pitts III, was also killed in that fire. The cause remains under investigation. We have new information about the man who died after being taken to Johns Hopkins Hospital following a behavioral crisis back in January. According to our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, Paul Bertinazzi died from a severed spine while in the care of the hospital. Earlier this week, the medical examiner's office ruled his death a homicide. According to police, he was admitted for a psychiatric evaluation. After experiencing an incident at the Burger King on Orlean Street, the attorney general's office tells WJZ after reviewing police body camera footage, Ferdinazzi did not suffer the fatal injury while in police custody. Exactly how his spine was severed remains under investigation. And at this hour, city police are still searching for a woman who was abducted from a home in South Baltimore yesterday morning. Police say 22 year old Jennifer Perez was taken at knife point from a home on Northshire Drive. Please believe she was taken by the man seen there on the right, 31 year old Guillermo Rivera Romero. According to investigators, she was forced into a black Nissan Sentra with Maryland tag 3FE3303. A second unidentified man was acting as the getaway driver. If you have any information, call police immediately. That's your evening update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Vic Carter.